There have been so many different USB microphones popping out as of late and even CK Mova decided to go ahead and jump on that train and show us what they've got. So with that said, introducing the CK Mova SUM3 USB condenser microphone. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Before we continue, don't forget that I have a Twitch channel that you can go ahead and follow me on for live microphone reviews and much more than that. But you're also going to find my Instagram and a link to the text on the Discord in the description. So come join the community because it is a pretty cool one. We've also opened up a Patreon as of late where if you join, you'll be automatically entered to win one tech gadget every month in our exclusive giveaways. Details of that are going to be down below. Don't forget to check out the description for everything. Now let's get right into the video. So just as a heads up, I'm going to be recording this entire review with this microphone so that you can hear what it sounds like for content creation. However, I'm also going to be streaming with this microphone tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time so that you can hear what it would be like to use this for streaming. So with that said, a link to my Twitch down below and drop by and leave a follow. And now let's begin with an unboxing, which is going to be incredibly simple by the way. So just go ahead and open up the box and then there's going to be foam and remove that foam and inside you're going to find a microphone with a box that contains a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB type-C cable. So yeah, I would say that it does come with just about every essential here. The exterior design consists of metal, though this is still a very lightweight microphone. It's incredibly small and can still have just about every feature that I would need on a USB microphone. We've actually got a microphone gain knob right on the front and if you press it, it does mute it. And then you're also going to find a headphone gain knob. On the back, there's a USB-C port for power. There's going to be the headphone jack for audio monitoring and for using this as your full interface, I suppose. Uh, this microphone actually comes like with this cool little shock mount uh, that will uh, that you're going to find that there is also going to be both types of threadings for, for the most common types of microphone arms. So there's going to be a 3 8 and a 5 8 which is going to be really cool and it's going to be built right in. So it's not like you need to have an adapter for it or anything, it's just right there. And I really like that about it. So, so far, I think that the exterior design for this is really good. So this is a cardioid condenser microphone with a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So it is going to be a little bit less boomy than some other options. And it is addressed from the very front, just like this. So now let's get into the sound test and I'm going to be doing this entire portion without any kind of music. So this microphone sounds pretty damn good. And I was surprised considering that it is an affordable and super tiny microphone, but I would say that it does have a pretty clean sound to it overall. Obviously, I still think that this microphone is lacking a little bit in the low end, but I think that a lot of people will still be very happy with the sound quality here, especially for the money. However, sound rejection is not really that great with this microphone as you will hear minor noises like just the ambient. You might also hear cars honking outside. So I would definitely do a little bit of post work to get rid of that noise if you end up coming across that or just straight up put music in the background to avoid these issues moving forward. This also meant that with the AC turned on, it definitely captures that pretty hard. Have a listen. And just so you know, the AC is actually directly behind this microphone back there. It's not too far off, but it is still a good distance away that obviously it would still be heard no matter what. But in this case, I can hear it very clearly and it can be a little bit distracting. So this is going to be that AC test that I love doing. This microphone, much like any other, benefits greatly from the proximity effect because up close it sounds even crispier and cleaner and from a little bit of a distance it sounds less good but it still sounds pretty good nonetheless. I would say that maybe somewhere around 8 inches actually is a pretty good speaking distance for this microphone in particular. 
And now, the monitoring aspect of this microphone. It is going to be a bit weird. So what you hear going back into your ears is not exactly what's being inputted directly into your computer. It is going to sound a lot more compressed, and it is going to sound like it's actually capturing a lot more noise than it actually is. So the monitoring can just be a little bit deceptive, but I do appreciate having this feature nonetheless. So when it comes to complaints, I really only have one issue with this microphone and it is honestly just that monitoring that I literally just finished talking about. I wish that it was more accurate, but considering that there aren't really any plosives issues, by the way, which I totally forgot to mention, that's really the only thing that I have noticed with this microphone. So to conclude this video, this microphone is a great value for your money. It's small, built out of metal, handles plosives well, has every control that you would want for it on the very front, and already has the, the built and features for mounting it onto different types of arms with the only downside really being the monitoring not being accurate but I definitely appreciate still having the option to monitor my audio nonetheless so would I recommend this to people on the budget absolutely but hopefully you do have a quiet room for the most part in order to mitigate some of those background noises in my case it might not work all that well for me but i can see this working out for a lot of other people so yeah definitely a strong recommendation for me and if you're interested in purchasing this microphone then i'll be making sure to leave a few links down to amazon in the description and if you end up using any of my links and i do get a small commission that does help out the channel quite a bit so i would appreciate that quite a bit and there's also going to be a bunch in case you would rather finance this as well that is going to be a great financing option where you do not need a credit card of your own at all and there's luster if you're just looking for other types of alternatives or if you need a little bit of help looking for sales links to all of this is going to be down below so please go ahead and check it out and now i would love to give my tier 3 patrons a very special thanks so those are going to be omar joe moss and sato Ozel. thank you so much for all of your support because it really does go a long way and now on to the rest of the tier 2 patrons coming right up. And this is super important. I would just like to give a very special thanks to all of our patrons, which are going to be listed right here on the screen. Again, a massive thanks to you all for supporting us to help us create and the kind of content that we bring to you on a day-to-day -day basis. And thank you so much for supporting at the Tech Summit podcast as well. And just remember that if you would like to be a part of this community too, and then do make sure to check out the links to our Patreon, where you don't only get bonus episodes of our podcast, but you also get automatically entered into one of our monthly giveaways of a tech product that we have reviewed and that is of at least $50 in value or higher. So links to that down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and, and also do make sure to follow me on Twitch where I do stream fairly often. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.